to me okay. Just want to do a quick audio check. Let me just fix this cam a little bit. There we go. There we go. Just making sure we got the cam working properly. Oops. I was messing around my screen before. Hopefully that's a little better. All right, good, 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 good. All right. So we just get something working over here and get some of the screens and get the recording up and running. All right, everybody. My name is Fausto Puglisi from Cybertrain University. I'd like to thank you for being here um, on our weekly broadcast. We do this every week. We're going to teach you exactly how to follow the big orders because order flow is what really drives this market. We got a great presentation for you today. I'm going to show you some great examples that we've taken over the week. Maybe you have listened to us in the past. Maybe you weren't ready. Hopefully today we're going to change that. But we got a lot to cover, and I want to show you exactly how to play the game in today's volatile markets. Because with everything going on in this world, you have to learn how to monitor your trading. So um, I know we have people asking some questions here, and you know I'm going to try to call uh, Carlo. I see your question coming over here live from New Orleans, okay, Ontario, Canada. Well, welcome aboard, and good to see you, and and everyone else that's here. I'm going to try to answer everybody's questions as much as I can. I'm going to talk for about maybe. I don't know, maybe uh, about 40 minutes, okay? But I can tell you this, it's going to go so fast that you're going to be you're going to be overwhelmed. And by being overwhelmed, that's not a bad thing because I'm going to invite every single one of you, um, every single one of you here, basically, to join my trading room. Uh, Marlon, you have some audio. Does anyone have audio? Uh, anyone else have audio problems? Everybody here loud and clear, just give me a yes. I want to make sure there's just one person. All right, good, good, good. All right. So uh, just a little quick little disclosure. Um, just please understand this is for, for training purposes only. Uh, you know, training varies from student to student. So I'm not making any warranties. This works, no guarantees, none of that stuff. Okay. So just please very, very be very smart before you do your first trade. Now, what I'm going to do right now also is um, I want to invite everyone to have one week access in my trading room. Okay. So listen, I we practice what we preach. And I can only get you excited after today's event. But if you stick around, okay, don't go anywhere. I will post up, everyone have their cell phone with them. Okay. Gonna make it easy for you because you could take a picture of it and we're gonna get you right to the registration page. All right. Um, so if you're watching on YouTube or anywhere else. We're going to give you that opportunity coming up. We'll also post the link up here in the Zoom room because we are broadcasting on, you know, we're doing a, a wide net over here. There's people from Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, in, you know, Instagram, everyone. All right. So uh, let me just tell you a little bit about myself. Okay. Now, I've been doing this for almost 35 years. I love trading. I've been doing this um, all over. And, uh, you know, I'm one of the original day traders that started. I live here in New York. I am, um, I've learned from some of the best traders in the world. We are endorsed by more brokerage firms than any school in the industry. We got a five-star rating on Google. Um, you know, we have a very big reputation. We do things totally different than some of you who have ever taken classes before. So we're going to cover that. We're going to talk about that. But I love teaching people because I love changing their lives. Listen, COVID changed everyone's lives. I mean, everyone realized it's not that bad to work from home. You know what I mean? Actually, I think doing what I do now kind of helped my relationship. Well, I've been married for 25 years, but uh, I want to change your life. And I can tell you this, a lot of you here are the way you're trading is the total opposite way that you're supposed to do it. You're actually going to be so, dis you're going to be so, you know, uh, how can I say, disappointing yourself that you're going to see that trading, you know, it's all about following orders out. Listen, I was you. I was you 35 years ago. I was an ignorant, you know, 22-year-old kid. I'm 51 now. But um, I didn't know what I was doing. I mean, I thought I knew how to trade. I did it on my own, um, read a couple of books. And, you know, I got lucky here and there, which was probably the worst thing to happen. And then, but you know what everyone's issue is? And this is what you're going to learn here, which no one ever talks about. No one's going to teach you how to stop losing money. No one ever taught you when enough's enough and you're on the wrong side. You have to learn how to play the game of trading. That's why I've been a 12-time champion at the Traders uh, Challenges. Now, doing this over the years and doing presentations for brokerage firms all over the world, 
Um, brokerage firms want you to be successful in trading. Believe me, there's some of you, some of them that trade against you, which is payment for order flow. But the other ones that are out there that don't work on payment for order flow want you to succeed because they want you to be very good at what you do. And that's why, you know, I, I've done training for, you know, everybody all over the industry. And, uh, and that's where it comes down to. Now, what I'm also going to do is this. At the end of the presentation, um, I'm going to give everybody a copy of my book. Okay, you can go to Amazon, you can pay $40, $47, or you can get it here for free. It's how to beat market makers at their own game. It's been published by Wiley, one of the most well-known publishing companies uh, in the world. So um, it's, a, it's a bestseller out there, but I, I'm going to give it to you today for free just by listening in at the end of the presentation. It's a fast read. It's a great read. I think you're going to like it. Now, basically how I got here is um, it's just learning from the best in the industry. I mean, my parents came to this country and they told me, they says, listen, you want to make money? Go find people that make money doing it. You want to hang out with troublemakers? You're going to end up being a troublemaker. All right. And, um, you know, and it actually, did, actually didn't work out too bad for me. So my thing is I want to pass down the knowledge down to you. Now, I have two families. I have my everyday family, my wife, Debbie, my three wonderful sons, Alex, Max, and Lucas. But I want to hopefully make one of you my family. OK, and my family is, uh, you know, my trading family that I'm with every day. And to be successful in trading, you have to be part of a team. You have to be part of a family to succeed in trading. And that's what it's all about. And what's great about this photograph, if you look at it, these people are just like you. They're cowboys. They're border control people. They're grandmas and grandpas, engineers, you know, uh, first responders. I mean, like people that worked in corporate America real estate, you know, so don't ever think like it's never too late to learn. It's never too late to learn. Now, my question to you is this. I'm talking, now let me get through. Now I'm done talking about me. Let, it's not about me. It's about you. Tell me a little bit about you, everybody. Um, how long have you been trading for? Are you brand new? Or are you one to three years, five years? Just give me an idea. Okay, Mike, you got two years, one year, Oh, Michael Van got five to seven, brand new, three, five, two. Okay. 10 years, Beth, Jerry, a couple of months. All right. Now, this is my next question um, that I want to ask you. Actually, I got two questions I really want to ask. Uh, first of all, be honest with me. Are you making, nobody could read anybody's question here. Are you making your weeklies pay? Are you making money? Are you losing money? Are you breaking even? Are you underwater? Okay. Green this week is one thing, okay, but are you making money? I mean, like overall at the end of the year, how are you doing? Up and down, okay, I'll take that as a loss. Surviving, Narish, okay, Rudy, been not making money, John. You get nowhere, Stephen, all right. Susan made 100000 her first year, okay, but now how are you doing it? And now how are you doing it? But you, then you lost it uh, the last two months. Oh, my God, that's terrible. All right, so listen, enough's enough losing, okay? And I'll tell you why people lose. First of all, if you've been doing this for more than three months and you see that you're not making money, no, regardless who trained you or industry, it, it, it's time to move on, okay? Anybody here own a business or anybody works with, for somebody? If you have somebody there and you're paying somebody at the three months and they're not making you money, actually, it's sometimes they'll put you in harm's way. Are you going to still pay that guy for the next year, two years? No, you have to get rid of them. It's a business decision. You know what the definition of business is? Making money. Okay. You're not the, the definition of business is, is, is not losing money. So you got to make, you got to learn how to trade, uh, trade in today's business, in this today's market, like a business. Okay. Some of us, a lot of us here are probably parents. Someone has to be adult in the room. Sometimes you have to tell the kids, no, you can't, I can't buy it for you. It's just that, no, you can't be the yes man. You got to learn how to play the game. And just to let you know with some stocks that we traded, you know, in this past week, I don't know if anybody here, you know, you can access my Twitter, you can access our YouTube. This is all public information, but these are stocks that we traded. Look at the stock PTPT. I mean, this thing literally ran from $2 to $8. Okay. In one day. In what, actually, I'm sorry, in a half a day, right? CXAI, all the AI stocks. Look at this one, 
$3 to $9. Wall, FRC, look at these run-ups. They had big, big run-ups. Why these stocks specifically ran up? These are those bank stocks. Remember what happened in California with the Sonoma Bank, all those bank stocks? Well, you know what? You know, you have to understand why did they drop in the first place? Well, you got to understand something. Catastrophes make opportunities, all right? You got to remember why you're here. You are here to make money and you're also here to stop losing it. And that's the biggest thing you have to understand. You have to learn that and you're going to understand that it's not about what you think. It's about what the street thinks. If you think you're smarter than them, if, you, if you're not doing your homework, you're in the wrong business. All right. So let me tell you how we find the stocks and how do we basically know which one is going to give us the least amount of risk with the high amount of reward. And also, the, how do we know they're going to continue to go up or go down? Now, listen, we're not a news service. We're not going to tell you, give you hot picks and stuff like that, even though it's illegal, okay? Um, we are in the business here to teach you how to play the game of trading. Now, there are a lot of stocks that are moving. All we do, fellow traders, is we just work off our big percentage gainers and losers, okay? Um, anybody, I know that we have a lot of people here also watching on YouTube. We broadcast live every morning at 9 a.m. Eastern and also 2.30 in the afternoon for 15 minutes. And we go through this watch list. Now, I'm going to do better than that. I'm going to invite all of you to come all day for a week. So you get to see what it's like moving in the actual physical market. But all we do is we work off the big percentage gainers. What we're doing there is we're trying to find stocks that have good volatility, good spread, you know, and, and um, you know, and very cost effective. And you have to remember, I don't care what CYTO does. You think I really, really mind that whatever, maybe they're against everything I believe in? I don't care. We are here to survive. And that's what trading is all about. So to find these stocks, you will need to, know, you know, basically this is going to, what's going to help you to make money, but you need to know what, to, um, how to trade them. And that's a big issue people have. So let's get right to the meat and potatoes. I have a question for all of you. Okay. And let me, and listen, don't mind me being very brash. Okay. It's just how I was raised. Um, but my father never wanted me to get hurt. So sometimes you have to be the adult in the room. So my question to all of you is this. How do stocks go up and down in the market? How do they go up and down? By the way, if you cannot answer this question in the trading room, I want to do as all of us a favor, just leave. Okay? Because if you don't if you if you can't answer that question, that means you don't know how to trade. Okay, it's a very simple question. And don't, once again, don't be offended or anything else. I'm sorry if I do that, but I have trained way too many people and I hate seeing people lose money. It's just, you know, it's just ignorance. You think trading's hard? Try ignorance. Don't do it. So yes, Susan, Patrick, N Nigel, thank you very much. Rich, buyers and sellers, just write BNS. BS, just write BS. You didn't answer me back. You know, Lu Lucy, I didn't hear from you. David, I didn't hear from you. It's just right, just right. BS. That's all. And not the BS that we're, that we're thinking of. Okay, just buyers and sellers. Okay, great. Now, the reason why I want you to be, you know, focused on this is because I am going to show you where the buyers and sellers are on the stock. You see, most people go out there and they teach you the past. Oh, look at my indicator. Oh, look, I got... I got, you know, I got a, you know, a Fibonacci and I learned how to read it. And I read the 100, 300 page book. That's, those things are invented by mathematicians. Okay. You want to learn from a mathematician or you want to learn from a trader? You know what traders do? We follow the money. So I'm going to talk about three very important tools that every one of you can get, you know, in trading. Level one, level two, level three, and level four. Okay. I want to start off with level two. Who here has level two quotes? Who has level two? I got a couple. You know, actually, you do a poll with this too. If you're on Zoom, I can do polls with you on this. Okay. All right. A couple of you have. Okay. So let me explain to you what it is because this will lead into why we need level three. And then, which some of you probably know it even existed, level four. 
And then you're going to realize now you're going to get now that now things are going to start to get a little disturbing. So let me start showing what we got going on in here. OK, so level two is this. You got the buyers on the left and you got the sellers on the right. One, two, three. So you got three columns. The first column is a four letter abbreviation of a, a brokerage firm or an exchange like the New York Stock Exchange, uh, NASDAQ Exchange, so on. The second column gives you tells you the price that that stock is trading at that exchange or at that brokerage firm or or you know either either one of them. The third column tells you how many shares they want to buy. Whoever wants to buy the stock for the most amount of money is up on top. Whoever wants to buy the stock for less money is down at the bottom. So what you're looking at is a big negotiated market. People are advertising electronically what they want to buy it and it's all being hosted by servers so there's no physical meeting place anymore listen the new york stock exchange you're going to be able to have bar mitzvahs there and weddings soon okay it's just a it's just a show you don't they don't need it anymore everything is done by electronic now the problem with level two is it's been outdated since the 90s i don't even know why they even have it anymore but it's just basically a waste of time it's not it, there's nothing there that has any value because this is the reason why. Remember now, I'm going to, and I might sound like a broken record, but I'm going to repeat this many, many times. Stocks go up and down, options, futures, crypto, whatever it is, works all buyers and sellers. All right. Not earnings, not the president, not like it's all buyers and sellers. It's how they interpret it who wants to buy it. Okay. Now, buyers equal support. Sellers equal resistance. Now, everybody here I know is always focused on where's the support level? Where's the resistance level? Let's just be clear. You cannot have a support level unless you have the buyers out there and you cannot have resistance level unless you have the sellers out there. So what we're looking at right here is called the NASDAQ book viewer. Now, um, I don't know if anybody here has ever ever done this or, or uh, have any of you ever seen me on NASDAQ, by the way, just out of curiosity, anybody here? If you go to um, our website, Cybertrade University, actually, we'll play it at the end of this presentation. But here's our website right here. And um, here's a video of me at the NASDAQ Center actually teaching NASDAQ Book Viewer. I'm, I'm there at, actually every month. All right. Now, um, NASDAQ wants you to learn how to trade, you know, NASDAQ book viewer, because that's how the market works. This is there. This is when you look at the NASDAQ exchange, do you realize you have access to have a seat on that exchange? It blows my mind because when I started, I had to get licensed. I had to dish out a thousand dollars a month for it, everything. Now you could buy it for $15. You don't got to be licensed. And you basically have a seat on the floor of the exchange. Why you nobody would want that, I still cannot figure in the back of my mind, okay? But let me explain to you what we see here. Right here on the left, let me get my crowns here. Here are your buyers, here are your sellers. You are seeing every single buyer in the stock GM that everyone on the NASDAQ market wants to buy the stock and what they want to sell it for, how many shares they want to buy and how many shares they want to sell at every single price level. Now, it might look a little overwhelming. And there, you know, at the end, if you guys join me in my class, um, I'll show you how to work with the filters. So you kind of eliminate and how to aggregate, okay? But what you're looking at right here is you're looking at every single order in the entire world, okay, that want to trade, go, uh, uh, trade GM. Now, anybody here, Anyone trade a stock today? Anybody here traded something? Would you guys trade? For just give me a stock, for example. Would you guys trade? Tesla, right? Tesla. Oh, I got a good one for Tesla. I got actually I got a good screenshot for you. Um, first of all, did you know that there was a 300? I'm sorry, there was a 400,000 share buyer Carlos on Tesla. Okay. I'm going to show you exactly. Think about it. How what, how much smart, better and smarter trading decisions? If you were able to see, now listen to me, 70% of 
of the buyers and sellers out there. Would you guys pay $15 a month to see 70% of where the buyers are? I'm talking about institutions, algorithms, high frequency trades, dark pools. Would you pay 15 bucks? Okay. Well, I'm going to, great, because I'm going to show it to you as we move on how to get it and why it's so important. But the most important thing you have to, we all have to agree upon is that stocks go up due to buyers and sellers. Now, let's put this in perspective. We're looking at a stock right here, PACW, right? And you can see how the stock started around 930 at $10 and came all the way down to about 850. And then all of a sudden, it found some type of support level and it shot all the way up to $14 a share. That is a tremendous, huge winner. Why would it go up that much? And why would it go up so fast? And why did it stop at 850? But when you go to the NASDAQ exchange, and if you had the book viewer, you'll notice that there are a lot of buyers at every single price. But when you got down to $8.50, you had a 61,000 share buyer out there. Now there are 700 share buyers. There are 600 share buyers. There are 1,000 share buyers. But here you have something almost 60 times more that are buying at that specific price than at any price. What do you think is going to happen when you come to where majority of the buyers are? It's going to go up. It's going to make support. And that's why it went. And that's why it went from $8.50 to $14. Now, let's look at the reverse side. We're looking at a stock called REVN, that the electric car company. Okay, stock started this morning at 1420, had a beautiful run, and then after around 11 o'clock, it got a little tired, and it stopped around 1510, and then finally started coming back down. Why did it go down and stop at 1510? Why not 15? Why not 1480? Why 1510? Well, when you look over here on the sell side, on you look at all these sell orders, you'll notice that there is a lot of sellers between the price of 1510 and 1511, you got 43,000 shares, 31,000 shares. You got 36 orders around the entire world that make the 43,000 shares. You got two orders that make up the 30, probably it's a 30,000 share and a guy looking to probably at a 31, uh, probably a thousand. But you're talking literally almost like what? 75,000 shares looking to be sold at 15 bucks? I know you're not putting 50, uh, 75,000 share orders dropping dimes here every there, huh? I don't think so. But it would be nice to know where they are. And guess what? It's there. What's the, um, no, there's no delay. These are not delayed. These are live orders, okay? And like I told you before we leave, I'm going to invite every single one of you live into my trading room. And I'm going to show it to you this for not only one hour or one day, but a whole week, how this works, okay? But listen, did I get your attention? Because it looks like a lot of people are starting to get focused. I didn't scratch the surface yet. You think this is better? Wait till you see the other slides that come up. So you have to understand, you can't have support levels without buyers. You can't have resistance levels without sellers. So let's go check out another stock, BBIO. Let's look at this stock right here, okay? Now I'm gonna launch a um, poll, all right? Now, can everyone just tell me, is this stock going up or going down? Let me see how you guys are going to answer this poll. While I do that, I'll sip my NASDAQ cup of coffee right here that NASDAQ gave me for being such a great contributor. Listen, if you can't answer this question, I'm going to say it again. You should quit trading. There's no reason why nobody can't answer this question. Okay? Nobody. And by the way, Nobody's going to rat you out. <laughs> okay. Nobody can see your name. Nobody can pick it up. And I'm going to share this poll. All right. So I can't wait anymore. I got to end it. All right. So let me share. Let me share the results. So 8% of you say it's going up. 92% uh, of you say it's going to go down. Now, if you're saying it's going up, let me just tell you something right now. Um, I have no idea what makes you think the stock is going up. And if you seriously think it was going up, you should quit trading. I mean, I'm just going to be very honest with you. I don't understand where you even thought of that, all right? I know some of you just put in the chat and told me, well, I need more data. I didn't, what more do you need? I'm just, the first thing you look at is what's the trend of the stock doing? Is it going up or down? And it's going down, all right? Now, here's the next question I have to ask everybody. 
Is your stock going to zero? It could happen, you know, but what can make the stock go up? What is going to drive the stock to go back up, everyone? What do we need? Um, I guess we're all going nuts now. Not at all. We need buyers, right? We need a demand, right? Right, Salvi, right, uh, Damon, Patrick. Very good. Good, John. All of you need buyers. Do you see buyers on a chart? I don't see. A, a chart has no buyers in it. A chart is just past data, right? So let's go hop over here and check out on NASDAQ Book Viewer. So the first thing that we teach our students is that if you own a stock that's going down, the first thing you do is you don't freak out. You got to you gotta say, okay, you, and you just don't sell. You got to say, okay, where's the next biggest buyer? You got to have a game plan. You don't want to sell a stock at a where big buyers are at. You know, you might want to sell if there is no buyers. So when we look at here, we notice that we have a, a, a 22,000 share buyer right here. Um, right around that 1550. Now, listen, look at all the sellers 200, uh, 100, uh, 300. You're talking 22,000 and 5,000 between 51, $15.51 and $15.50. Listen, you have to follow the money. All right. So what do you think is going to happen when you get close to that 1550? Boom, stock goes right up. And you know what? It hit it, it hit it, it hit it, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Finally, it gave up. It didn't want to go lower. So when you sit there and you try to ask yourself, why is this not going lower? Well, did you know that the buyers were out there? You know, if you knew that, you might consider not going, you know, short. You might consider going long. Let's look at LCID. Here's another one. Let's forget about the chart, Okay. Let's go right to the raw data. Let's go right to the exchange. By the way, when I traded, we didn't have charts, okay? Just to let you know, charts did not exist when I when I was trading, all right? Um, we just strictly worked off this. So for some of you who don't know what a tape reader is, that's what I am. But let's look at this example. I'll teach you what tape reading is. Um, what do you think is going to happen when we get close to a this big sellers out here of 20,000 and 67,000, around $8 a share. What do you guys think is going to happen? Do you think the stock's going to go up or go down? Think it's going to go down, right? Okay. What does this show you? Does this stock look like it's going up or it's going down? It's going up. Wait a minute. Let me take a step back. The chart says it's going up. But when we look at the future, we see we're coming up to a big seller, right? Market going up, seller out there on the offer. Okay. Guess what? When it got, if you didn't have a game plan and did not see that order out there, that stock just dropped from $8 right back down to $760. Why? Because not because the chart said so, not because of moving average said so, not because a MACD said so, an RSI. Because of those big orders of 67,000 and 20 out a thousand shares wanted out. What do we are saying here? Follow the money. Now, what do we call these big, big block orders? We call them iceberg orders. Um, I came up with that name after watching the movie The Titanic. I'm like, you know, sad story. I think everybody knows the story about the Titanic. Um, but after seeing that movie, I'm like, you know what? These people, all they care about is the glamour, the pretty boat. You know, they didn't care about anything about safety. Okay. And that's what most people are doing in trading. They all want to, we always want people to tell them what to do. Well, you know what? It didn't work too well for the Titanic. So if you don't know what's on the bottom of the water, you don't want to be the next person to blow up your account. Now, remember, these are all live orders in the market that we talked about. And I'm going to show you live in trading. Okay. Now, next question people ask is how much is it? How do I get it? Well, here's the, here's the link right here. I'm listen, I'm not holding any punches. All right, that link right there, and then we'll post it in here in the trading room, but um, the datastore.nasdaq.com. Just go there. It's 15 bucks. You're buying it right from the exchange, right? What's the worst thing that could happen? You spend $15 to find out where 70% of the orders are? Now, once again, I don't work for NASDAQ. I don't get paid from them. And listen, I, I, I'm just, I'm here just giving you 
you know, I'm just giving you some advice to kind of tell you, listen, you want you, you want to trade the market, you want to trade options, you want to trade, you know, stocks, whatever it is, you better know where those orders are. So go out there, pay the 15 bucks. All right. Now, that's all it costs. All right. Now, the next question is this. Um, I buy, you know, listen, if you buy pits and puts and calls, if you trade on options, let me explain to you something about options. It's the movement of the stock that makes an option move. If you want to be a good options trader, you damn well better learn how to trade the stock first. Because when you see a stock like Path and it comes down from $18 down to $16 and you start crapping in your pants, you're like, my God, I can't take a loss. And if you didn't see that 44,000 share order out there, and you know what? And you sold it and now the thing goes back up and you could have turned a, a loser back into a winner. That's the issue people have to have, okay? Um, now, let's talk about, here's another example. You know, I mean, it's just like, it's almost like common sense. You know, how these stocks, how they go up and you see Coinbase, and you see how the big seller out here, you know, um, it goes all the way to 65 and comes right back down with a 62,000 share seller out there. And like I said, you could apply this towards options. You know, if anybody trades options. Now, we just talked about level three. Let's talk about level four. Okay. Now, you ready for some real excitement? Wait till you see this. Level four is basically a heat map. Okay. A heat map. Basically, what it does is it's going to show you the orders, how long they're out there, how, you know, instead of looking at all these numbers, and because this is the issue people have, they look at this and like, you know, there's so many numbers, moves pretty quickly, whatever it is. That's okay. I get it. Okay. Um, I think that's one of the biggest deterrent why people don't do this because they think it moves too fast. Well, if it's moving too fast here, then... You think it's, and you're out there trading today's markets. Do you know much faster? That just proves to you that you're trading stocks that are moving too fast. If you can't read them here, you shouldn't be trading them in the first place. So let me show you what we got going on. Let's look at Apple really quick. So Apple, um, you could see here is 930. And the stock literally was, it's on its way up. A really nice trend. It was at 165. It's about 11 o'clock. It's already at 167. And you'll notice right here up on top, this big red line at 930 this morning, this seller came out for 188,000 shares. And it's already 11 o'clock. He's been out there since 930. Um, there are other couple of sellers out here too, a little bit more of the orange colors, but you could see that the sellers started showing up right around 167, 168, you know, 168. By not knowing that that seller was there and it got there, Look what happened from, you know, the 19th all the way till the close. It never went past 168. Not because of Fausto said so, not because of the CTU staff said so, not because the Apple CEO said so. It's because that big seller was out there. And, it, and you know, that's the reason why it came down. Let's look at LCID, another one. Stock starts, you see it's got a nice push here. Here's your little red line, 66,000 shares out there. Okay. What does that tell me? Resistance. What happened when it hit that resistance? It hit it. It came back down. It hit it. It came back down. And it did like it, it, it never got past that $8 a share from the start of the morning until now, because that big seller has been out there holding it back. So no matter what you think, this is not an indicator. It's nothing. These are orders. Okay. This is not, this is basically what we're looking at. But we're, now we're seeing it how long they've been out there. Has he added to the position? Is he getting executed? All that good stuff. All right. Let's look at another stock, an AI stock, Big, uh, Big Bear AI. This stock had a nice little push in the morning, started right around $2.70. And look what happened here. Uh, WL says, I'm tired of indicators. I'm tired of indicators too. Hell, how many indicators are out there? Thousands. You know what? This, 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 you, don't have, you don't have any indicators that we have? One, actually two, buyers and sellers. That's our only indicator you really need, a buyer indicator and a seller indicator. It's only one. Here you have a stock started. You could see somebody, he added to his position right around 3.30. You could see how the line got very dark red around 10.45. 
And then it's about basically, if you look right here, I know it's a little tough to see, but it's about 124,000 shares. Do you know what 124,000 shares times $3 is? I mean, I don't think anyone here is just dropping $300,000 worth of stock, okay? And not only was he there, but as the stock was going down, he changed his mind and now he lowered his offer and he, he dropped it. And look what's happening to the stock. You see how it's starting to trend down? Why would this stock do that? Why would it do that? Ever thought about it? Well, I'm telling you right now how it, why it's doing that because that's sellers out there doing it, okay? Let's have a little bit more fun. Here's a stock that we traded last week. This is, this is one of my favorites. I got two more. This is my favorite. ALLR, okay? Look at this. Huge buyer right here on the bottom, right? Started in the morning, ALLR. Um, that's about 100,000 shares, right? See that big, big red line? Look right here now on Book Viewer. Okay, you could see them out there and you could see them here on level four. So not only do you see them on the Book Viewer uh, on NASDAQ, but you also could see them on level four and you could see how long he's been out there. So right here, just to show you again, here's that big order right there. See it right there? Big, big, big order out there. Okay, total, the big, big order. Now, let me just uh, clear this out and show you what I got going on. Now, when I change the slide, look what ended up happening. Another seller showed up, okay? Another show, a seller showed up um, literally 30 minutes later at a buck 70 for another 88,000 and 25,000. And look, he's right here on the book viewer. You see it right there. Just amazing, literally amazing how that happened. What do you think is going to happen? And by the way, so you, now you got 100,000. Now you got another 100,000 showed up, you know, 50 cents later. What do you think is going to happen to the price of that stock, fellow traders? Exactly. Okay. And not only was he a buyer at 170, he canceled his order and he bid it up to $2. Okay. And so you still have buyers out there. You got buyers at 117. You still got the buy. That buyer went out there, canceled it, and, 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 bid it up higher. What do you think is going to happen to the price of the stock? Okay. You see what I'm saying? Like, let me ask, I have one question. Did I lose anybody yet? Did I lose anyone? Everybody following along and anyone lost? Could you imagine if I was able to show you this for a week live in the market? This is why we have such a big reputation. So why Cybertrain University has been around for 30 years. This is why we're endorsed by every brokerage firm in the industry, because everyone out there is always focused on the indicators. And you know what's about, you know what's about the indicators is? It always, makes you, it always makes you look smart. You understand? You're always right. But they forgot to tell you one thing. Of course it's right, because it's working on past data. I don't want to look at the past. I want to look at the future, for crying out loud. You're seeing the future. Why would you not want to see that is mind boggling. Guess what? It went higher. It went higher. Look at it. He canceled. He couldn't get it. He bid it up again at $2. He bid at $2.10. He bid at $2.20. What do you think happens when he keeps bidding up the stock, fellow traders? It just keeps going up and up and up. Think about how much smarter and better trading decisions if you were able to shadow that buyer out there. And by the way, they do it to every single stock, okay? They do it to every single stock. Let's look at Tesla really quick, all right? This is today. I got this screenshot this morning. I, I know some of you here said you traded te Tesla. Okay, first of all, just to let you know off the bat, um, here at Cybertrain University, we don't trade expensive stocks because there's no need for it. If I make a dollar on a $5 stock or a dollar on a, on a $164 stock, I'd rather do it on a $5 stock, less money, less risk, plus I'm doing the best traders. But with that said, w, uh, whatever your name is, uh, L -W -L, regardless about what, what you think of Tesla as a good company, a bad company, it's irrelevant. Remember, you can't take your personal feelings on a company. It, it, today was just a great opportunity to trade it. But let's look at this reason. Let's see what's happening here. Tesla got very beat up because they had bad earnings yesterday. Tesla came down and it stopped at right around here, around 164, after coming down to, you know, I think it was like 180 or something like that. Why did the stock go up from 164? What made that stock go up? 
What made it go up? Anyone tell me why, why, at, why at that time did the stock go higher? Money? Dave, you're right. Sylvia, you're right. Michael, you're right. Okay. Now, let me ask you all a dumb question. How many buyers do you think it would have taken to make that stock go up? How many shares do you think, if you're a trader, knowing how much volume Tesla trades, that how many shares do you think it took to make that stock go uh, to go to go up from uh, 164? A lot. I mean, just put on, just take a just take a a guess. So l let me give you a little example here, really quick, if you don't mind me showing you this. Hold on. So I'm going to show you a level two, right? So here's Tesla right here. Here's level two, okay? So I want to confuse you. All right. So I want you to look at this real time. See all the buyers out here? Size, those are all hundreds. 800, 300, 400. It's moved pretty quickly. Let me see if I can freeze it. Let me pause the share. Okay, let me pause it. Okay. See all those orders? Those, those, all, everything there is multiplied by 100. Okay. And that's how many people are buying orders from different exchanges. What, what, how many shares you think it's going to take that stock to go up? You think it's going to be a couple of hundred shares? Because that's all it's really showing there. How many do you think? Thousand. Okay. 50 million. <laughs> 50 million stock trade 137 38 36 million shares to it today and it's a 1230 you think 50 billion all right well listen let me show you what i got here's nasdaq book viewer look right here at 165 and 164 200,000 shares now look over here on the offer right on the sell side 15 shares 54 shares 4000 400 300 2000 Look over here on the bid, 66,000, 200,000, 31,000, right? Look right here on the bottom line. When you go to Book Viewer, I mean, look at the, uh, when you look at level four, there was actually 364,000 shares aggregated from all different exchanges. And look what happened to that stock when it started at this morning. It dropped from 166, hit a support level 165. Tested that 384,000 share buyer out there. He's still out there from 9.30 in the morning to 9.38, right? Look what happened now. Stock went from that 165, uh, 165 all the way to 168. Look what happened. See, there's another seller here at 170 for 83,000. Now you got two sellers out there. You got that 104,000, 14,000 at 164. And 195,000, 395,000, you could say 400,000 at 165. So you could see why the stock went up and went down. And then as you see it, you could see it here also on, on NASDAQ Book Viewer. You could see the raw data or you could see it on the chart. See, and that's really what it comes down to it. That's where it comes down to it. Now, let me show you something pretty cool here. Okay. Um, I'm going to do you guys a favor. All right, so hold on one second. Let me just do something here. I want to show you something pretty quickly. Uh, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Okay, here we are. So I'm going to show you the real live market. Okay. Now, this is live right now. This is live right now. So here was the chart when we saw it before, right? Here was that, that was that big buyer right here, right? And then all of a sudden it hit a seller right here, right? You see how it hit that sell right there? Uh, right there. Okay, what was that? Uh, 169.50, does everybody see that? Okay, so it hit that resistance and it went, went down. Actually, right now it dropped down to 162, okay? You ready for the good action? All right, you got you, you got your um, your seatbelts uh, locked and trade tables up. They say to you, okay. Watch this. This is live level four. Look what happened. So when I took that photo shot, was here 
Remember that big seller out there? It was at 170. Never got to it. So it started coming down. Now, remember, big buyer, stock should have went up. If you notice, a big, that buyer got executed. He, somebody bought it from him. By the way, that could happen. And guess what? What happens when a big buyer like that gets, done, uh, gets executed? It drops. Where did it go? It went down to the next biggest buyer at 164. What happened? You got executed. Okay. And that's why it dropped all the way down to 163. See what I'm saying? It's all about following the money. It's all about following the money. Now, who here wants to join me? Who here wants to join me for a week and see this live and now be trained from a real market maker? Okay. The original Sos Bandit that I am, one of the original day traders to show you how this all works. Well, now is going to be your opportunity. This is what am I going to do? Okay. Because this is why CTU has been endorsed by some of the biggest brokerage firms in the industry. And, you know, and the re and let me tell you, they, uh, these people do their homework. All right. Now, um, there's no better time to learn than right now. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to invite you into my trading room. All right. Now, like I told you, we practice what we preach. All right. And you don't have to be there all day. So you could be there in the morning. You could be there in the afternoon, wherever it is. So we want you to, to see, you know, not judge us on our winners, but we want you to judge us on our losers. We want you to see our traders, see how they actually think for themselves. That's really what it comes down to it. I want you to see how they trade. Don't worry about us. All right. Um, but we're going to go out there. We're going to broadcast live. We do all, we do live commentary and so on. Now, regarding about the questions, uh, before I give you that link, let me take on a couple of questions here that I got. First thing I want you to know is you don't need money to do this. All right. We don't want you to trade. We, don't, we just want you to watch. All right. And you don't need a brokerage account. Don't worry about it. I got to get this up and running, that up and running. You shouldn't even be trading in the first place. You just need to make sure that this is something for you. All right. Now, this is basically the times that we have. Um, we open up the trading room at 7.30 in the morning, and we run all the way up until the, the market closes, and we do some after-hours trading. We have uh, live workshops over the course of the week. We do live commentary, all that stuff. Now, this is what's going to cost, $9. Get your phone right now. Get your phone, or we just posted a link up there. Um, you can click on that link and I'm going to give you one week access into my trading room to see this all live. Now, some of you are like, I don't understand. Why is it nine bucks? What's the catch? There's no catch. You know what the catch is? The catch is to prove to us that you're a real person. You see, there are over, there's over a hundred, over a hundred people here logged in. Okay. Uh, a few hundred because we're on social media. I don't know who you are. I don't know where you came from. All right. I don't know what, what your name is. I mean, like. I don't want, you wouldn't want to invite someone in your house if you don't know who they are, right? You want to do your homework. So this is going to basically prove to us before we go out there and to invest our time into you to let you know if you're a real person. Now, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get live commentary. Uh, you're going to get some workshops that we're going to give you, some webinars that are going to be coming across your way. You're going to get all this stuff, all right? Um, you're also going to get some, uh, we're going to do workshops on level three, level four. We're going to also teach you how to set up the book viewer because, you know, you want to make sure you have the default set up properly. All these things you're going to get, and you'll see the professionalism and the quality of our education, why we do the, we do the things the way we do it. Now, also, like I said, I'm going to give you my book, all right? So when you register, there's going to be a link after you complete your purchase where you're going to be able to download the book. And also, we're going to ask you five very important questions regarding a little bit about yourself. And please be honest with us. Let us know if you've ever taken training before, who you did, what kind of trader are you? Are you making money? Are you not making money? Basically, it's very you know honest questions. Now, all this is for $9. Now, the question people ask me is, what about what happens at the end of the week? Listen, I'm not going to bill you. All right. I'm not like some other people that are going to try to scam you and hit you with like a $200 fee. If you don't want to continue with Cybertrain University, trust me, we don't want, we want no part of you. All right. If you don't like this, if this is not your style and you don't get it, okay, the only person you're going to hurt is my team. So 
It's only the only nine. We'll only ask for the nine dollars to give you access into that trading room to prove to us that you say who you are. Now, I got one last bonus that I'm going to throw in this nine dollars. Okay, for the first twenty people that register right now, I will give you a personal phone call. Okay, why would I do that? Now, think about this. I know people out there that are like, wait a minute. I spent thousands. I never spoke to the owner of my life. I'm going to spend $9. I'm going to talk to Fausto, one of the biggest gurus in trading. Why would I, why would he do that? I'll tell you why. I'm looking for traders that will make part of my family. Okay. And right now you're interviewing us. There's going to be, then when I do an appointment with you, I need to interview you because I need to make sure that we're going to be a good fit. And I think it's the right way of doing business. Now it's a waste. Is it a waste of my time? No, it's not. But if you really, really want to do this, and this is something you want to do, okay, this is the opportunity I get. That's why we have such a great reputation. As a bonus, like I told you, and let me tell you this, if you're not happy and it's not your style, listen, I'll give you $9 back. I don't need your $9, okay? I really don't. Listen, I used to do it for free, but the problem is I used to get so many people. And you know what? Some people don't take it seriously. That way I look at it. OK, you're a serious trader. You want to learn how to shadow market makers. You want to know how to follow the high frequency trades, the dark pools, you know, all these people that you think are teaching it. Listen, some of the people out there are my students that are teaching. When you hear this stuff, let me tell you, where do you think they learned it from? Where do you think they learned it from? If you hear anyone talk about high frequency trades, dark pools, algorithms, where do you think they learned it from? You're looking at it. So go out there, take the $9, make an investment. Now, I got a couple of people that just registered right now. I want to do a couple of shout outs. Um, we're almost out of time here. Um, sorry, I went a little bit longer. I thought it was going to be 40 minutes. A couple of people just registered right here. Uh, first of all, uh, who do we got here? Um, where's your name? Oh, Clarice, got your name right there. You are. Clarice has got your registration for $9. Congratulations. You're going to be able to get a, a phone call from me. Uh, Durant, Durant, Hassan, I got your registration. Welcome aboard. Look forward to teaching you. Um, uh, was that Mary? Mary's got your registration. Welcome aboard. Just looking at the, them coming across right now. Um, you probably hear, you hear that dinging going in the back. That's basically people are registering. Who else we got here that registered? Nigel, got your registration. Kerr, welcome aboard. Okay. And yet, now basically I have a couple more minutes. I can answer some questions. So if anyone has any questions, Oh, let me put the link. I'm sorry. Let me put that up there. There you go. So you guys could scan it right there. There you go. There's a scanner. Uh, could you talk about drive, uh, uh, drivers that lead market makers to take out support and resistance, like the way you showed in Tesla and book map Raji? Yes. And you know what? This is what you got to do. Take $9 and get registered. Okay. You want to see that? Because I didn't see you register yet, okay? That that's how that will work. Listen, I only have so much time. If you, if anyone here saw exactly how we basically teach trading, and you, because listen, I know there's some people here that trade options and are like, I don't understand. I've been doing this, I still can't figure it out. What the hell do you think? How do you think a stock moves? How do you think a stock moves? It's the movement of the stock. You know, an option move. It's a movement of the stock. You're doing it backwards. A couple of the people just registered. Um, Gerald, I just got your registration. Welcome aboard. Suzanne, I got your registration. Welcome aboard. David da uh, David Davis, I got your registration. By the way, um, I'm not making this up. Here, you can basically see the orders right here coming across. Here's some of all the orders right here. Congratulations. I'm just looking at the chat. Oh, two more. Carlos, got your registration. Uh, William, got your registration. There you go. Thank you very much. Appreciate you both. Guys, listen, this will be the best $9 you ever spent. Not only spending $15 with NASDAQ, getting book viewer, getting started, but now I'm going to actually throw in a workshop on top of that. So go buy your nine, buy your $15 NASDAQ book viewer. It's a great start. Now you're going to get $9, learn how to trade. Listen, I know some of you pay thousands, tens of thousands. And you know what? You And you probably should have done that. And you know what? You probably wouldn't be here unless... You know, you, you, if whatever you paid for was working or everything you're doing was probably working. 
But now here's your opportunity to kind of take it to that next level. Uh, question is, how much is level four? Well, let me, uh, you know how much money it is? $9, okay? Don't worry about, you know, what does this cost with that cost? I give you two prices right now. I'm giving you NASDAQ exchange. NASDAQ, you're going to see the NASDAQ at 15, okay? And then basically you're paying $9 here. If I told you it costs $1,000 a month, I'll give you a good example. When I was 22 years old, okay, after blowing up two accounts, I finally listened to my father and I said, you know what? Maybe he's right. Maybe I should go work for somebody. Okay. There was no school like Cyber Trade University back then. I didn't want to commute back and forth to Manhattan, you know, and going back and forth in the city, especially it wasn't very safe there back in the 90s anyway. So why would I do that? But then I said, you know what? I had no choice because I know too many people that make money doing and trading. I love the business. What the hell I'm doing wrong? So let me tell you what happened. I was you sitting in this room 30 years ago. And in that conference room, they showed me this. And I'm like, all I kept on saying to myself is this. How could anybody in their right mind trade the market without using this data? And you know what they told me? They said, oh, I forgot to tell you, it costs $1,000 a month. And any money we make, we split 50-50. I'm like, that doesn't sound like a great deal. You know, I could go to home and I can keep all the profits. And you know what they said? Yeah, how's that working for you? And by the way, we're going to hire you. You're not hiring us. So if you got an attitude, get the hell out of you. You just got fired. We're even hiring you. So they just kick people out. But I made that investment at 22 years old. I paid $1,000 a month, okay? And that's why I'm here today. And you're not. So think about it. You want to change your life? I'm not asking for a thousand. I'm asking for ten thousand. I'm asking for nine dollars. Go out there, take the nine dollars, and make an investment. Because if you think nine dollars expensive, try ignorance. A couple of people just registered. Um, um, Jepreet, I just got your registration. Welcome aboard. Who else? I got an, uh, an email from here. Um, Michael got your registration. David got your registration. Carl, uh, who else we got here to register? Well, a lot of people registering now. Michael, got your registration. Pat, got your registration. Welcome. We're almost past 20. First of all, I don't understand why all hundred of you bought yet. I mean, like, what do you? what's the worst thing that could happen that someone finally is going to tell you the truth? You're finally going to see where all the orders are? Okay, that if you thought this was uh, uh, upsetting, you'd be shocked um, how much more you're going to learn. So listen, I got to go. Um, thanks, everybody, for registering. Listen, if you didn't register... That's fine. I get it. Okay. I'm not going to take it in a bad way. Maybe you're not ready yet. Maybe it's not the right time. But for the ones that register, let me just clarify something. Every one of you are going to get a phone call from an education advisor. They're going to do a walkthrough with you. Okay. They're going to show you what you're going to see in the room. We don't want you to get in the room and be confused. Okay. So we're going to do a walkthrough with you. We're going to show you what's going on, what makes these stocks go up and go down, um, what you, you know, what the moderator is, what the schedule is like. Um, it's just a very short phone call. So you're going to book an appointment with our education advisors, and then they're going to book an appointment um, with me. You, you have an appointment with me, and then and then we're going to make a decision from there. If this is something that's you know worth uh, worth us both overtaking together. But if you didn't take it now, and oh, another question kept coming up: When can I start? Um, listen, I know the weekend's around the corner. You want to start on Monday? Do you want to start next week? You want to start now? Then do it. Don't waste any time. Listen, it's fresh in your head. I would start immediately. Okay. I would start, you know, today. You know, if you want to hold off because you got something coming up, I get it. But um, but there's no rush. We're not going anywhere. And for everyone here that didn't register, listen, when you when you're when you're ready, we'll be here. Okay. Maybe it's not the right time. Maybe you're not fully convinced. Maybe you want to do your homework. You know, I get it. But um, but when you're ready, we'll be here. So anyone, um, thank you very much for being here. I appreciate it. Before we go, I'm going to play one quick video um, for all of you to see. And then, uh, like I said, with that said, um, I'm going to show you the video on NASDAQ. So as you guys are registering, you get to enjoy it. All right. So let me just play this here for you. And all I'd just like to say is, uh, everyone, thank you very much for being here and look forward to teaching you all in the trading room. Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Joe Mellon Global Market Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me at the Market Site in Times Square, New York City, we have Fausto Guglizzi, the founder and president.